Well, to talk more about how much the Russian economy has been impacted so far, I'm joined by Vicky Price, Chief Economic Advisor at the Centre for Economics and Business Research and a former UK Chief Government Economist. Thank you for joining us, Vicky. It's good to have you with us. Uh, we can see that these sanctions are already having an impact, economically speaking. If we just take a look at the scenes that we've seen over the weekend, those long queues, ordinary Russian people trying to get their cash out. But as this goes on, how bad could it get? It would get uh, pretty bad for, for the Russians, really. I mean, the most important sanction that has been imposed so far is the freezing of the overseas assets, overseas, well, the, the foreign assets uh, held in uh, other countries and in foreign currency by the Russian central bank. And of course, the reason why the ruble has fallen so dramatically is because, uh, though it did fall right at the beginning of the invasion into the Ukraine, uh, is because the uh, the central bank in Russia was using those reserves to support the ruble, and then the ruble recovered for a while, as we saw. So once you uh, freeze the assets that are um, held elsewhere by the central bank, then that is much, much more difficult to do, and hence why um, anyone who was holding rubles would try and get out of them. So that is going to hurt them, and inflation will rise very significantly. And of course, the increase in interest rates that have just have just been announced is also going to affect the population at large. And Vicky, we've also now heard that the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ will halt trading in Russian stocks. It seems like, I mean, it's a huge move. What do you think the fallout could be? There isn't going to be the ability to raise any funding for a number of the companies that have been trading in the various stock exchanges. That was expected, more or less. Um, and of course, you know, they have been using uh, the overseas markets very significantly and doing investments, of course, sometimes in um, other countries, but also doing quite a lot of investments in Russia. I mean, it's worth bearing in mind that the, the earlier sanctions that have been imposed now for the last sort of 12 years by the US and the EU have had an impact, well, 10 years really, have had an impact on the Russian economy anyway. And some of the calculations are that uh, the Russian economy has grown considerably less than, than equivalent countries elsewhere because of the inability, if you like, to trade properly with the rest of the world. Quite a lot of equipment that it would like to have in hasn't come in. Plus, of course, the, Russian, the Russians themselves restricted imports um, too in retaliation. So uh, I'm afraid if you add it all together, this is a real squeeze. You add the SWIFT uh, uh, as well, the SWIFT sanction, which is basically for a number of banks, not all of them, uh, they are no longer able to use this messaging system for transferring money. That makes life a lot more difficult as well. Not impossible, but a lot more difficult. Well, let's turn this around then, Vicky, because EU leaders have also been warning that there will be a price to pay on the other end. What kind of impact do you think that Russia's trading partners will feel here? Well, the first thing, of course, is the increase in uh, the price of oil and gas, particularly gas, which is a very significant import uh, into Europe. And there are a number of countries in Europe, whether you look at Germany and Italy, that have been relying very significantly on uh, gas imports. I think in Italy, the figure is 46% of all its gas comes from, or is imported from the uh, from Russia. Um, and uh, a very significant figure, something similar, if not slightly higher in, in, in Germany. Uh, so that is going to affect those countries quite significantly. And of course, uh, oil prices and gas prices are internationally traded, so it's going to affect everyone, not just uh, the Europeans, of course. So that's that's one of the areas of concern. The other thing, of course, uh, has to do with, for the moment, of course, energy uh, exports from Russia have not been affected by the sanctions. In other words, the West has not imposed any controls or any cutbacks on those. So at least that's OK, but the price is going to be going up. The other thing is right. food. Um, wheat is very significant as part of the exports, plus loads of metals and, and, and minerals that come from Russia. So all that is going okay. to be you know, quite negative for growth in, in the West as well.